Several breeds of these colorful ornamental fish have led to their popularity today as more and more people opt to choose the fish to keep in tanks at home or even do it for commercial purposes. Popular among interested people are the clown anemone fish as they are beautiful, starring in the Finding Nemo movie and are easy to take care of. This led to the Krebby Coastal Fisheries Research and Development to conduct research, breed and build a hatchery for the clownfish to offer to the market. It began the work in 2001 and up till now was able to breed as many as 13 types of marine species. They include clown anemone fish, Clark's anemone fish, and yellow skunk anemone fish. They are particularly popular among local farmers and clients. We have varieties of breeds such as clownfish, seahorses, and others to sell to farmers. This helps to prevent them from naturally catching them in the sea and give a chance for marine lives like corals to live sustainably. The Centre was also able to hatch and breed about 100 types of marine species such as Bengal sergeant fish, cuttlefish, seahorses, sea leeches and cardinal fish. In ecological systems, a cardinal fish is a main predator. During breeding season, they separate from the groups in pairs. They can be sold at 300 baht each. The fish is reported to be found in natural water sources of Indonesian waters. Some breeds we still cannot breed are parrotfish, napoleon and blue ring. We are, however, working on it and hope to achieve it soon. Located in the tourist province of Krebi, the center also serves the public by developing the center to be a tourist site where visitors can learn about marine fish and economic fish hatchery. Visitors can observe and enjoy its marine fish hatchery and display tanks. They include sharks, giant groupers with over 120 kilograms in weight. The feeding point and display tanks are quite interesting as these two tourists thought. She says, I'm quite happy to visit here. He said, we have seen many types like clownfish and others. It's very good. The achievement of the center is not only to encourage the reduction of natural water source catching, but also to conserve the rare breeds of fish while also introducing new species for members of the public to learn and hopefully lead to better sustainable development.